First of all, I'd like to take a moment to thank Randy Hubbard for arranging this meeting. Not only is she keeping things in order behind the scenes, but she continues to shine as the face of fusion in billboards and magazines all across the country. Woo. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. I've kept this group small today and consisting mostly of department heads because I'm leaving it up to you to speak to your respective teams. Explain to them that while I've been distracted recently by obvious circumstances, that all changes as of today. From now on, I'm going to be as hands-on as I was when I started this company. In other words, I'm back, I'm in charge, and I'm ready to make some major changes. Is getting rid of me one of those changes? Hey, you know what? Would be a blast. Breakfast for dinner. Huh? That'd be fun. What? I just... I'm glad that Kara is on the next flight out of town, but I don't think that that means that we should pretend that you didn't just find out what you just found out. Honey, it doesn't matter anymore. How could it not? I mean, you spent years thinking that the woman that you loved, that you were married to, dumped you for another guy, and now after all this time, you're finding out that's Babe, not the case. Whether it's another guy or it's whatever her reason is, doesn't matter. She walked away from the relationship. And you don't want to know why? I know why. She said that she married too young. She said that she wanted out of the marriage, and she called her big brother because... She wanted to get away from the whole big mess, and she did it the way that she did it because she didn't want me chasing after her. And would you have? I mean, if she had told you the whole truth, right. would you have just let her go? Can we just drop it? Because I'd love to have a beautiful dinner with my wife, and I gotta get back to the hospital. I just... I just don't want you to bury this. There's nothing to bury. Maybe it's gonna be Christmas, right? Christmas. I'd like it to be magical and beautiful. I'd like to make it that way for my wife and son. Is that all right? You already have. I hope you brought something to keep you entertained. Oh, well, I always do. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it could be a long wait. Too many patients and not enough doctors. Mm. Tough combo this time of year. Mm. <gasps> oh, oh, doctor. <laughs> How are you? Oh, gosh. All the better for seeing you. I hope you're okay. You're just here for a follow-up, right? Oh, oh, yeah. After the magic you worked on me, you kidding? I wouldn't be here for anything else. <laughs> Doc? Hi. Aren't you supposed to be on a plane somewhere? Don't want to be here any more than you want me here. I assume Dr. Castillo isn't alone. Oh, uh, should have introduced you. Dr. Angela Hubbard, this is Dr. Cara Castillo. Nice to meet you. Oh, are they married? No, Ma. Actually, it turns out Griffin is Kara's brother. It's kind of a long story. Don't hold a lie against my brother. He was doing me a favor. He certainly didn't do Jake any favors. Jake's moved on with a beautiful wife and child and a happy life. I think we should all follow suit. True enough, Angela. All right, now that we're done talking about the past, I have a hospital to run. And I need to confer with the Castillo sibling who offered to pitch it around mm. here. At your service, Chief. Good. So, looks better than last time I saw you. Yeah, it's doing yeah. great. Yeah, well, some wounds heal faster than others. Uh, actually, Ma, that's a little something else you missed. Uh, Kara was the one who stitched me up. I promised minimal scarring. Did I miss out on the part where we forgive her for what she did to Jake? It's okay, Ma. So, you here to have it redressed, or...? No, no, nothing like that. Uh, my mother had a little heart scare not too long ago, so we just came in today to do a follow-up. Oh. Uh, Griff was your doctor? <clears throat> yeah, angels of mercy clearly don't run in the family. Mm -hmm. Uh, is that the medication you were prescribed, or...? It was. I need a refill. Do you mind if I check it out? Oh. Ma, please try to relax. Whatever else she is, Kara is a damn fine doctor. I'm sure she's not trying to poison you. <clears throat> Thank you. Dr. Flores, dial 118, please. Dr. Flores, please. Griff prescribed you this? Yeah, Dr. Traster, my, my regular MD, did. Why? Why do you ask? What's wrong? 
Oh, no, nothing's wrong. It's just I'm sure you're suffering from some annoying side effects. Headache, dizziness, nausea, upset stomach. Well, as a matter of fact, yeah. Well, that's typical with the calcium channel blocker. Well, then, is there some kind of alternative? Yeah, actually, there is, especially for someone as young as your mother. Um, I would try a beta blocker. It won't keep her up at nights or ready to crash during the day. You know what? Ah. Here. Ask Dr. Traster about this. I'm sure he'll agree it's a much better fit for you. Aging Dr. White. Dr. White, call your office. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. I'll send you the bill. <laughs> Whew, you're back. Thank goodness. Uh, yeah, not for long. This place is in the weeds. You gonna be okay for a few minutes? Yeah, I'll be fine. Good. <laughs> Dr. Tracer's doubled up just like every other doctor in this hospital. You're short on staff. Temporarily, yes. I mean, that's not a problem limited to just this hospital. What do you mean? Uh, I'm actually going to be in town for a while, so I was kind of hoping that I could do something worthwhile to fill my time. You're looking for a job. I need to work, yeah. Anywhere but here. Kendall, well, uh, she requested that I leave Greenlee at home on Christmas. Did you agree? Well, I didn't have much choice. She also said she's all only tolerating my presence because of Spike. Ouch. Yeah. So she's got this 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 wall up, and she's determined not to let anybody break it down, you know? Mm. Not even her sister. It's different than it is with you, but she's still holding me at arm's length. She won't even let Greenlee in the same room as her. Mm. You know, I haven't always thought Greenlee was such a great friend to my sister, but Kendall needs to forgive her. And you. And even David. Greenlee mentioned that she saw Hayward's hand move when she was in the room with him. Why oh, he's coming too? I don't know. Uh, I guess it could be good for Mom's case. And bad for everything else. Hell of a holiday season, isn't it? Have I, have I depressed you enough that you're leaving? No, no, never. It's just that Greenlee is having a meeting for some of the department heads over at Fusion, and I said that I'd stop by for a little while. Okay. So. He'll get better. Yes. I know. <laughs> if I've seen anything, it's that Kendall and Greenlee have a bond no one can break. Not even them. No one's talking about changing your role in this company. You took away whatever role I had when you excluded me from this meeting. You just lost your husband. The last thing you needed was to, to think about the next lipstick campaign. Who are you to tell me what I should and shouldn't think about? I was just trying well, I mean, to... Is my name still on the door? Did you get rid of that, too? If you want to sit in on the meeting, be my guest. Oh, okay, now I'm a guest. I can't win. You would have been mad at me even if I had included no, you. to turn this around on me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay, I did not mean to make things worse for you. I love that. I love it. You're, you're apologizing for my suffering while you're throwing me out of my own company. I did not. I, mean, I shouldn't be surprised, my God, you insist that David's to blame for what happened to Zach, but the whole time you hold a bedside vigil for the monster. That's not fair. Bottom line, you don't want me here. So, so don't pretend like you're doing it because you, you care about You're right, you're right. I don't want you here. There, I said it. Ever since the accident, you haven't been yourself. And you know what? I don't know when you're going to be normal again. Meanwhile, we have a multi-million dollar company to run, and we can't have decisions being made by someone who's... Who's what? Look, this is the last thing that either one of us needs right now. Can't have decisions made by someone who's unbalanced? Is that what you were going to say? Kendall, please, let's just... What? What? Be friends? You don't want to do this here. Don't tell me what I want to do. Do you think because I'm grieving, you can swoop in and take advantage? You're out of line. I'm out of line? Get it together, will you? Hey, what is wrong with you? The last thing Kendall needs right now is to be attacked by you. This is so not your business. Are you okay? Uh, where are the boys? They're at the Conways, remember? I thought you might need some backup. I should never have come here. Because I've become a major inconvenience to Greenlee. I never said that. Well, you thought it, and you still do. But I'm not useless, and I'll show you. What did you say to her? 
That isn't none of your business. Right. I forgot. No one can question the great and powerful Greenlee Smythe. You don't belong here. Is that what you said to Kendall? When the hell are you gonna get out of my life? If there's any place in town that needs doctors more than any other, is this hospital. I just don't think working here would be a very good idea. I was stating a fact. I wasn't offering you a job. Jake is not just a colleague. He's one of my dearest friends. And I need doctors who are focused, who can be here around the clock if they have to. Are you still whining about being understaffed? Can't you pull somebody off? The... You didn't leave. I wanted to. Trust me. Well, I don't. Um, sorry. You look stressed out. Thank you. Sorry. Actually, I, I came here looking for you. You found me. What do you need? A change between us starting today. I think we all just need to calm down. You would like me to just disappear, wouldn't you? That would be a lot more convenient. You don't want to do this. Don't be so dramatic. You only make things harder for yourself. You think so? You quit Fusion, so you didn't have to be around me. You've supposedly moved on from Ryan, but yet here you are, sticking your nose in, acting like you belong when you don't. You're unbelievable. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell was that all about? 